back in my earlier video i had discussed about ring theory i had discussed prime element and irreducible element of a ring today i will discuss this topic also but just elaborately in my earlier video i had seen in integer if p is a prime element then obviously p is irreducible so i will ask one question to all my viewers the question is let r be a commutative ring with unity 1 and let p be a prime element of the ring r then that implies p is irreducible element that means if a ring is commutative with unity 1 then is the prime element be irreducible element of the ring just verify at first this thing for few minutes consider the ring z6 now verify is the element class 3 is prime element of the ring z6 for this at first consider class a and class b be the member of Z six says that class three divide class A times class B, and uh, from this expression we can write class A B equal to class three times class C, where for some. Class C belongs to Z six. That implies from this expression, six divide A B minus three C. Then, obviously, since six divide A B minus three C, then three divide A B minus three C. Okay. And that imply three divide a b. And we all of us know in Z always three is a prime element. That means since three is a prime element, that means three divide a b always imply three divide a and. Or three divide b. Therefore, the class three is a prime element in the ring Z six. Now let's see: is the element class three is an irreducible element in the ring Z six? In Z six, the ring is commutative ring with Unity class one, and in this ring, the unit elements are class one and class five. And since class three equal to class three times class three, so obviously class three is not unit. because in this ring only unit elements are class 1 and class 5 therefore the element class 3 in the ring is reducible are you getting the idea therefore this theorem is false If R be a commutative ring with a unity one, then if P be prime element, then P is irreducible. Theorem always not true, okay? But if the ring is integral domain, then prime element always imply the element is irreducible, and the theorem is. in an integral domain r a prime element is irreducible the thing
period we at first us recall the definition of prime element r be an integral domain then a non zero non unit element of the ring r call p is said to be prime element if p divide ab where ab belongs to r that imply either p divide a or p divide b the proof is such type let r be an integral domain and let a be an non zero non unit prime element of the ring r let a equal to b times c where bc belongs to the ring r that imply obviously a divide bc and since ab non zero non unit prime element of the ring r then by definition a, a divide bc imply a divide b or a divide c now we have to prove a is an irreducible element to prove that means we have to prove either b is unit of the ring r or c is unit of the ring r is for definition of prime element either a divide b or a divide c so if we consider a divide b then by definition there exist x belongs to r such that b equal to a times x we consider this equation as 1 then a equal to bc and uh, here put the value b equal to x then after putting i have got a equal to a x c and since r is an integral domain so if we sub so subtract the equation and apply the distributive law then from this line either a equal to 0 or 1 minus cx equal to 0 and a equal to 0 cannot possible this cannot possible because i have considered it a b any non zero non unit prime element of the ring r means only possibility is 1 minus cx equal to 0 and 1 minus x equal to 0 implies cx equal to 1 x equal to 1 imply c is a unit of the ring r okay here i have considered a divide b and i have got c is unit of the ring r clearly if we consider a divide c then that implies b is unit of the ring r therefore our proof has done in integral domain if a be any non zero non unit prime element of the ring r if we can write a as product of two element then obviously either b will be unit or c will be unit of the ring r that means in integral domain prime element always imply irreducible element but converse not always true irreducible element not always imply prime element as for example for example consider the ring z square root of minus 5 and consider the element 3 plus square root of minus 5 obviously this element is irreducible element in this ring which i had discussed in my previous video elaborately now to prove the prime element notice 3 plus square root of minus 5 divide 14 because 3 plus square root of minus 5 times 3 minus square root of minus 5 equal to 9 plus 5 this is equal to 14 but 3 plus square root of minus 5 does not divide 7 or 3 plus square root of minus 5 does not divide 2 
that means the element 3 plus square root of minus 5 is not prime element. Are you getting? Consider a suffering R who is generated by polynomial x square y square xy who is a suffering of the polynomial ring qxy. Obviously we all of us know this ring is integral domain. Also x square y square xy are irreducible element of the ring qxy because so if we consider x1 and if we can write x y as product of two elements, obviously this would be x times y. Then obviously x either x is unit or y is unit. Similarly, x square y square all are irreducible element in the ring qxy. But If we consider the xy, then this is not prime in the ring qxy because xy divide x square y square, but xy does not divide x square or xy does not divide y square. So the element xy is not prime element in qxy. Are you getting? Well, we will discuss one theorem. R be a commutative ring with uh, unity 1 and p equal to ideal generated by p be a non-zero ideal of the ring R. Then p is prime ideal if and only p is prime element. This theorem is if and only if condition. If P is prime ideal, then that imply always this is the prime element. Also, if P is prime element, then that imply P is prime ideal. The proof is such type. Suppose P is a prime ideal of the ring R. And since P is non-zero and proper, that means P is neither 0 nor unit. Consider AB belongs to P. Then let P divide AB. And since uh, I have considered P divide AB, that means AB belongs to P. And since I have considered it, P is a prime ideal of the ring R, then AB belongs to P imply. Either A belongs to P or B belongs to P. And this is true because since P is a prime ideal. And A belongs to P or B belongs to P. That means either P divide A or P divide B. Therefore, I have considered A P divide AB. And I have got either p divide a or p divide b that means the ideal p is also prime element are you getting the proof oh well. conversely suppose p is a prime element and since p is non unit that means p is proper ideal of the ring r consider a b be two element of the ring and assume product of AB belongs to P. Then from this expression we can tell easily P divide AB. Since P is a prime element, so P divide AB imply either P divide A or P divide B. And since either P divide A or P divide B, thus Either A belongs to P or B belongs to P. Hence P is a prime ideal of the ring R. Because I have got 
here I have assumed AB belongs to P and I have got either A belongs to P or B belongs to P. That means theorem is if and only if. If P be a prime ideal then that implies this element is always prime element also. If P is a prime element then that implies this ideal who is generated by P. Obviously this is the prime ideal. In integral domain if M be non-zero maximal ideal of the, of the ring D where M is generated by the element Q then obviously the element Q is an irreducible element and this proof is very easy type proof just think at first oneself proof is such type every maximal ideal by definition we all of us know this is the proper ideal hence since here given the ideal M denoted as maximal ideal is generated by Q so obviously Q is not unit also Q is non-zero because M is non-zero maximal ideal let consider two element A and B and consider Q is written as product of two element AB. Then Q belongs to ideal generated by A. Since I have written Q as a product of two element A and B, then obviously Q belongs to ideal generated by A. So the ideal M equal to in the question has given this is the ideal generated by the element Q who is contain the ideal generated by the element A. Since M is a maximal ideal therefore from this expression either M equal to ideal generated by A or ideal generated by A equal to whole ring D. If we consider m equal to ideal generated by a then obviously the element a belongs to m therefore by definition a equal to q times c where for some c belongs to the ring d then q equal to here i have got q equal to a b then q equal to a b and if we put the value A, then this value would be QCB. Therefore, by cancellation law, we can write CB equal to 1. And from this expression, obviously B is unit in the ring D. Okay? If ideal generated by A equal to whole ring D, then obviously 1 belongs to ideal generated by A. That means AD equal to 1 where for some D belongs to the ring D. And from this expression we can write easily A is an unit element of the ring D. Therefore, obviously the element A is an irreducible element. Are you getting? Oh well. That means in integral domain, prime element always implies irreducible element. But if the ring not be integral domain, then M, which is actually the ideal generated by Q, can be maximal ideal. But it does not always imply the element Q is irreducible element. As for example, consider the ring Z6. We all of us know Z6 is not integral domain. And in Z6, class 1 and class 5 are only units. Now consider the ideal M, who is generated by class 3. Obviously, 
this ideal be maximal ideal? We all of us know. But class 3 is not irreducible element in Z6. Means when the ring not be integral domain, then maximal ideal always does not imply irreducible element of the ring. An ideal and irreducible element. These two conditions will be equivalent when the ring is integral domain. Are you getting the idea? Come back our before conception. I have got in integral domain, prime element always imply irreducible element. But converse not true. Irreducible element in integral domain always not necessary. This is the prime element. I will introduce an extra condition in integral domain. In PID, every irreducible element always will be prime element. That means converse but will be true when I will introduce the ring is PID. Are you getting? It was very easy type of proof. Just try to on sell. Just I will give one idea of this proof. Consider the ring is PID and consider a, an element P which is prime and which is also irreducible element. Then the ideal generated by P obviously will be prime ideal because this is generated by prime element. All of us know in PID every prime ideal be maximal ideal. This actual idea. Now try to prove this, I, this theorem on self. And if you have any queries about this theorem then do comments in comments box. Yeah, I will stop here. If you have any queries about today's video please do comments in my comments box and to get more videos please subscribe my channel and do share to your friends and stay safe and stay positive always thank you so much see you soon